Hey everyone, welcome back to another live step-by-step -step training. Today we're going to talk about how to create a cover design. Specifically, we are going to create this cover that you can see here. Chess openings, simple and practical guide. I think it's very clean, eye-catching and professional. We are going to create the cover using Canva, which is an online tool. It is totally free. You can have a subscription if you want to use premium elements, but you don't need the subscription in order to create a simple cover. So let's start from scratch. First thing first, to create a new design, click here, file, create new design, custom size. Now, how do I know the size that I need? I'm talking about the paperback cover. So there is the front cover, the spine and the back cover. Well, this is simple. All I need to do is to go to kdpamazon.com cover calculator. And there is this form here I can fill with my info. Paperback, standard color, white paper, left, right. Let's do inches. Usually the trim size that I use is 6x9. Now this is very important because depending on the page count the spine will have a different size. Let's do 150 pages. Alright, so these are the numbers that I need. And I can also download the template. So let's download the template. Cool. And let's copy this number here inches all right now we can import the template that we have just downloaded I can simply drag and drop all right and then I'm going to stretch it to fill everything Cool, now we know where our front cover needs to be, how big is the spine and the size of our back cover. Now let's start looking for an image we can use for our cover. I'm going to photos and I'm going to look for chess. There is one thing I can do which is switch to vertical. I like this one. Actually one thing I could do could be to set the image, the template as the background. So, okay, now I can stretch this image to fill the space. Cool. I can also decide to change a bit. Now, something very important. Can we use the images here for commercial use? This is the license copyright legal commercial use page of Canva. So there is written what's allowed, sell your design or merchandise, t-shirts, sticker, books, or as digital products, ebooks, magazine, newsletters. So I believe that there is no issue with that, but I'm not an attorney and this is not legal advice. So I would suggest to do your own research to be sure you have the rights to publish to use these images. Going back to the book cover, now we have our front image done. Let's go over text here. I have already selected this font here that I think I like. So I can reuse this one. Chess openings. Actually, I think I want two separate lines because I want them to have different sizes all right you can press shift to select more than one element you can also group if you want with Canva let's make them just white I want this one bigger Now, something I could do to make the title look better is to add an effect, like a shadow. Alright. Let's do it black and let's increase a bit the offset. Cool. Let's do the same 
actually with the openings text. It was 70 I think before. Okay, now it looks a bit better. Actually, I want a bit of space above the title to add my name. So I can do just now. Doesn't need to be to be big. Here is fine. Okay. Now I want something like to divide the title from the subtitle that we will put here. So I look for a simple divider. Graphics. And I think I like this one. Yeah, it's a bit big. Let's make it smaller and nicer. At this point we can put the subtitle here, we could go to text and choose another font or design or we could simply copy the text from here and change the font style from here. I'm going to use this font here, Anton. The subtitle actually will be a simple and practical guide. I think that's fine. We could decrease a bit the spacing. Okay. Now looks pretty good. And that's it for our front cover. Nice and simple we can zoom to see if it's aligned properly okay now let's do our spine and back cover for the back cover i want a background image that would fit this kind of texture and color so i'm looking for maybe dark wood background i'm going to take this one here and now i'm going to scale it to fit properly the back cover okay now I want to create the spine and in this back cover I will insert some text now let's create a rectangle all right and let's choose a dark color which I think could be pretty good with the back cover now I just need to like resize the rectangle properly looks pretty good now if I want to be sure I can change the transparency to see the layout which is below and yeah I think it's pretty good also make sure that the bottom is covered and the top is covered okay Cool. Now I could copy simply the text here. And I can rotate it. Okay. Now I should be careful here because sometimes KDP doesn't accept the cover if the text doesn't fit properly. And how do we do for the back cover? Very simple. We can do the very same thing can actually copy paste another rectangle if we want change the size all right now I want another color something more similar to the front cover let's use this color here and I want to decrease the transparency 
All right, this is pretty good. I could actually also use a border here, simple border. And change the color of the border. Yeah, now it's better. I can copy some text inside. All right, a bit too big. I like to reuse this pattern and now I could just put some text and actually I do have the text here I just need to copy paste I don't need this name here okay all right now I want this text to be justified so need to find a size that looks good actually I think this looks pretty good, easy to read. Cool. Now I could add some elements just because in our final cover down here there will be the barcode, but here will be empty, so I think we could add something to fill a bit the space. I could look for chess. And I could look for some graphics to add at the bottom. I do like this one, but I actually just need the bottom so I can double click and crop the image. Cool. And then I can scale it to fit the bottom. Cool. And that's it. This is our cover. Now we can just download it from here, download, and we are ready to upload it on KDP. Again, you don't really need to use premium elements like I did, but you can choose whatever element is free for you. Be sure that you are not copying any other cover design on KDP, including this one, hopefully, because Amazon doesn't like when more books are similar. Feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the cover and the process and see you soon in the next video. Bye!